Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3. No, this is not a Let's Play, this is a speed build. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Kate, or go by Always More Sims here on YouTube. And today we are building another house, kind of obvious. Uh, this house is for, so last week we built a house for one of my Sims named Hunter. This house we built for his twin brother, Adrian. And I feel like this house fits Adrian a whole lot better than, like, Hunter's house. Because originally I was going to, I was debating actually giving Hunter the first house. But I'm like, no, this is too colorful for Hunter. Well, this house is called Monochrome Miniature. Um, and I did that basically, it is just a, a square. <laughs> In the end, it ended up being basically a square. Uh, like if you count like the patio, there's a little bump out on the back and it's a very small, it's built, it's built on a 20 by 20 lot. So it's a pretty small house. So even though the last house was a two bedroom, um, this house is a two bedroom. This house is a, is a lot smaller than the last house. So yeah, but I used basically black, white, and gray in the house. The bathrooms have some green, um, there's, it's like a very pale green in the bathroom. And then like the master bedroom is like, the walls are very pale blue. And I think the most colorful bedroom is actually the kid's bedroom. So, um, Hunter and Adrian, I, I, I am such a control freak. I have planned out like how many kids each of my own kids will have pretty much. Um, because, it, like, I found out through, um, trial and error, back in my Cinderella, no, it was my Toy Story generation, um, I like having all of the grandkids named after, like, still characters from, like, the movies, or, like, basically, like, the fairy, t the, the Disney movie that the generation is based off of. Well, for Toy Story, we had five kids, we had... Um, Rex, oh god, Rex, I'm forgetting the second one, it was, Rex, Buzz, Buzz was her, her second born, Rex, Buzz, Pete, or Peter, I think, Trixie, and then Jesse, and Jesse was our heir. Well, each of our, the kids, like, so the first four all went off, got married, and had kids, and they just kept, because of story progression, they just kept having kids. And I was, like, really stretching it when it came to giving the, like, when it came to naming the kids, like, the grandkids. Because, again, I wanted them to stay, like, to still be inspired by the generation, by, like, Toy Story. And, yeah, it was such a stretch when it, like, the last few grandkids. But I think... Rex had like four or five grandkids, I'm pretty sure. Buzz had like two or three. Like they all had at least two grandkids each, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it was just awful coming up with all of those names. So now I've gotten it to the point that I basically plan out how many grandkids like per child. Well, we're having set, we had seven kids in this current generation of Disney Legacy. Seven children, each of them have gotten married, well not, they're not, all of them are married yet, but each of them either have or will be married and they will have kids. I used to do, like, I'd have them risky woohoo, but then, like, I got to the point <laughs> that, like, story progression still gets them pregnant, so I think the last like this, so this past generation, I've gotten them pregnant on purpose, like this current generation. The last generation, I was still risky woohooing. Um, but this current generation, because, so our firstborn and her wife, I never really do same sex marriages in The Sims 3, because sometimes it can be like really wonky. Um, and I think if I didn't have my mods installed, I probably wouldn't be able to have, like, I didn't know they could try for a baby. Um, I, seriously didn't because I always I always play with straight couples and I'm I'm being completely honest here I just always play with straight couples in The Sims 3 um but like this generation like well I really want to kind of 
start doing like you know you know lesbian and gay couples because I was like I'm <laughs> I'm tired of always being like afraid I don't know how the Sims 3 like how it'll react so I'm like we're just gonna adopt a bunch of kids well then when Kendra our firstborn and her wife Ashley moved in with us I like the game saw me as having a full household I had eight sims even though I have Enros installed so I can like I can technically have more than that but the game was like when I was trying to adopt a baby for them the game was like you can't do that you have a full household so I was like well crap <laughs> I wanted to ad like adopt a baby for them and then send them on their way so then I was like well is it po like I was just curious I'm like is it possible that they can even try for a baby turns out they can I had no idea I didn't think that was a thing you could do in The Sims 3. I know it's a thing you can do in The Sims 4, and it's something that I actually do quite a bit in my current households. It's something I intend to do um, in the next generation of my I'm a Lover challenge. Like, I intend for our heir, Nicholas, I intend for him to have at least one, like, gay relationship, because he's supposed to have, like, two or three relationships in his generation, and I would like for him to at least have one like boyfriend and then like you know girlfriends and stuff because he's supposed to have kids and I don't know if I really I don't know anyways so there was that but I'm pretty sure I don't remember if I actually looked if I actually checked but our second born Will had a husband Will was also gay Will had his husband Harris and so I was like well I don't even remember, I don't remember if I even checked, but I was just, I had enough, like, I had a slot in the household. I'm like, we're going to adopt. I really wanted to adopt. I thought that was gonna, it would be fun. Um, and I don't have, like, pregnancy clothes for males in my game, so that would have caused issues. So, I just went ahead and had them adopt. What is my, oh, right. So, I was able to, I was like, what is my point for going on in this tangent? So I was, like, I chose for them to have a certain amount of kids. Like, I wanted Kendra to have two because her wife, Ashley... So Kendra in the movie is played by Mary Kay Olsen. Well, Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen, are, like, used to be, like, really popular, especially for, like, young age girls, teenage girls. I was... I never really I my cousin who's a couple years older than me she was always really into like Mary Kate and Ashley things I was not um I think they were like they were at like their peak right before like I was at the age like that really watched them um so I I don't really care either way about the Olsen <laughs> twins to be honest like we never really watched Full House or anything like that but Mary Kate plays Kendra in the movie. Well, Ashley is her twin sister. Well, Ashley's parents, like in the game, in my sim, Ashley, her parents were named Mary and Kate. <laughs> and then, the, like, their last name was Olsen. And then they had a daughter named Ashley Olsen. And then Ashley and Kendra got married. Well, Kendra took Ashley's last name. And then I'm like, well, I want them to have a daughter named Elizabeth Olsen, who is, like, She's out of the Olsen family. She seems to be the one that's, like, the most popular now because of her role as Scarlet Witch in the Marvel movies. So, I wanted them to have a daughter named Elizabeth, and then they had another child, and I'm totally blanking on her name. I want to say it was, was it Rose? Possib- no, maybe? Possibly? I don't really know. But they had two little girls. Um... So I plan that out. I have each kid, like, aside from our heir, I had at least one, like, grandchild name for each kid because, like, this generation I was really struggling to be, like, ooh, here's... And, like, some of them are really a stretch when, like, I don't want to, like, it's not that big of a deal, but I also don't want to just go, like, hey, this is what Adrian and Hunter's kids are going to be called. Like, Adrian's, his son, I want, because I want him to have a boy, has nothing to do with the generation at all. But I'm giving him the name because I thought it was cute. <laughs> and I did something really similar to it back in the Sleeping Beauty generation. But I was just like, I was such, I was like, I don't know what to do. I am like stretching it so thin. I don't know what names. So I 
am just kind of I'm every every uh, every child gets at least one kid. Kendra, I'm pretty sure, is the only one who's having two. Hold on, now I now I have to look. Okay, that's. I have a three subject notebook that I keep all of my challenge stuff in. So like <laughs> the first part of the notebook is all of my Disney Lexi challenge stuff. The second part is all of my like Feig challenge stuff. And then the next part, like the last section is all of my I'm a lover stuff. So I'm going to have Lindy have two kids. Yeah. Okay. So Kendra and Ashley had two girls, Rose and Elizabeth. So Rose came from the Rose that, you know, the beast in, like, the Disney movie, you know, that the beast is trying to preserve in the books that, like, a lot of these characters are named off of, out of, off of, whatever, after. <laughs> um, beastly, like, the Rose, well, like, Hunter slash Kyle slash Adrian, whatever you want to call him, is, like, obsessed with Rose's. And also, um, has, like, a tattoo on the inside of his arm that's supposed to be, of like, a tree with a bunch of roses in it. And it shows it really well in the movie. Um, so, Rose, I feel like, kind of makes, it's, like, kind of common sense. Will and Harris adopted a little boy named him Maurice after Belle's father. Um, and then I'm not gonna spoil any more, but I considered... So we have a cat named Felipe, and I was considering using Felipe as one of the kids' names, but I'm like, I really don't want to use the animals' names, which is kind of ironic, because the beast was an animal, but he's the dad. He doesn't count. Uh, but I was like, I really don't want to use the pet names as, ch like, children names, If I, but I was like, if I can't come up with anything else, then I will start using Felipe, or like, we have two other cats, Magda and Z well, we don't have Magda anymore, Magda went with, with Kendra, but Magda and Zola, so I was like, I'll use pet names if I have to, but yeah, that was like a whole unnecessary tangent that I didn't really need to go on, but I'm kind of glad that I did, because I don't know what to talk about at all. Um, I, was, I had no idea what to talk about, so, yeah, I don't know, actually, I quite like this house, I feel like, I really like the monochromatic coloring, um, it is a little dull for my taste, but at the same time, like, I think the gray walls with, like, the wood, like, the dark like, the palish dark wood that I chose throughout the house. I think that looks really nice. I really like how the, like, the colors of the bedroom. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of how I, like, had it laid out, but it was really awkward shaped. I don't know why I made the master bedroom the shape that it is. But I really like the colors of the master bedroom. Um, I think the bathrooms are a little awkward. They're very long, very skinny and very long. Uh, but it's okay. I don't mind it. I, I I recolored the mailbox and the trash can. I feel like you should be, like, singing my praises, because, whoa, so different. Um, I also put my typical magnolia trees. I don't know what it is with the magnolia trees, and I, like, I started using the magnolia trees, which are from Ambition, I believe, um, from the Ambitions pack, but I started using the magnolia trees because that those were the trees that were used everywhere in the world, but I like them so much. They are so pretty. They are, like, such a pretty tree. Like, I love all the little magnolia blossoms on it, so I'm like, I'm just gonna keep using them. I think I'm actually getting to the point that I might use too many of them, but then at the same time, I'm like, I'm not using enough. But I only had room in this house to put them either on the front or along the left side, and in the front, they're kind of blocking the house, which I didn't really want to block the house, but at the same time, like, I didn't mind it. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe. Am I making any sense? I don't know. Um, let's see, what else? I am still working towards getting a new computer. Um, I'm sure if I, like, if I stop talking... There's like this quiet hum and for the longest time I thought that was my mic because when I first started recording I used a gaming headset like a really cheap game oh 
there there it really goes um, but I used a really cheap gaming headset and that did create like there was like a static noise whenever I wasn't talking and so I was like oh that's just my like because now I use a different mic I have like an actual mic and then I just use earbuds but I'm like I don't think that's my mic I think that's the computer I'm hearing and it, it is it's the computer it's sounds like it's ready for takeoff um there it goes again that's that's the computer um and like again I I wish I could put like the mic somewhere else like I could put it on the like maybe the other side of my desk but my desk so like the opening where my legs go and everything is on the left side of the desk and to my right there's three drawers so I can't like put my I can't clamp my mic to the other side of the table because for one the arm does not stretch like that like my mic arm stretches up it doesn't stretch like across it goes up and I don't need it to go up I need it to come across but then at the same time if it were coming across it would block like the entire right side of my desk well because of how like my room is really funky shaped so unfortunately like I don't really have anywhere else to put the computer without it being in like the way of everything so it has to sit to the left of my desk which is like maybe a saw like two feet maybe two and a half feet from my mic so it's really easy to hear and I cannot play games at this point on the gaming channel like it's even like older games the computer won't let me play and I don't know if it's just because like I have like I try and I try really hard to keep like my files like to on um, like to the minimum I try to like go through and clean out stuff I don't need I probably shouldn't do this I, but I, like it has yet I mean knock on wood it has yet to come back and bite me in the butt, but I go back, like, after, like, two months of not, like, needing any video files or something that, like, I've recorded, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I missed this, or, I, like, I didn't upload this, and this is, like, major important or something, because I've been doing really bad about uploading on time like I'm supposed to. I go back and I delete, like, files. I am deleting, like, recordings, because I'm like, I, I haven't had a need for these in the last two months. And I think that's a pretty good sign that I won't need them for a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them. Which always makes me extremely nervous. It makes me very anxious doing that. Because I'm like, tomorrow is going to be the day where I decide I needed that file. And now I don't have it. But I can't play almost any games on my computer. At this point, like, it struggles running The Sims. But when I try and play stuff for my gaming channel, the frame rate is so bad like the frame rate is not the best when I play the sims but part of that is like actual lag in like it's actually just the game which and maybe I'm not understanding what frame rate means but because I don't I don't really do all the I don't understand a whole lot of like that kind of I don't understand it but with like when I'm recording Sims, my frame rate normally stays pretty level, and like the game just gets laggy if I have too many things open, or if I'm trying like trying to do a lot at once. Um, but when I open up pretty much any game, my frame rate drops so low, and it is so bad, and no amount of messing with graphic settings or anything fixes it. So, I'm hoping in the next couple months I can get everything worked out I can get a new computer I can go back to recording on my gaming channel because I really miss like I love playing the sims don't get me wrong but I really miss playing other games um so yeah there's that uh and then like I think we're getting close to the end here we're gonna hit screenshots soon but I forgot what else I was gonna say it's like there's something else I want to say you got to make it quick before the video ends and I just have completely forgotten what it was um oh in the next month or so 
Um, I'm going to have finals and I am house sitting slash dog sitting for some people. Um, like one week, like the week before Christmas, I'm doing it for a guy that like does not like leaving his dogs alone. And then the week after Christmas, like literally the day after Christmas for like a week and a half, I'm going to be like 45 minutes to an hour away. So I won't be home to record. So I do apologize for any, I mean, even just me being stupid and messing up on scheduling, but I do apologize for any mishaps, any mistakes, um, that have happened, that probably will happen because my schedule is going to be very hectic in the next month or so. But I think that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a whole bunch of stuff down in the description. Feel free to go check it out. The house will be there. Um, I think that is everything. Thank you guys and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.